Hey guys, what is up? How are you all doing today? Thank you so much for joining me. I am your host, Pink Kitty, and welcome to my channel. Today, I am bringing back an old favorite. I have the mystery glue book here today. I just really felt like playing in this again because I loved it so much. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do another mystery page. Now, for those of you who are maybe new here and don't know about my mystery glue book, basically, I have this big box. This big, big, big box. And it is full of images and all sorts of things that I have cut out and just threw in here. Like random magazines and from all sorts. And I even had some images that were sent to me in a Happy Mail that I put in here. So a lot of these images, I have no idea um what they are. So, and that's what makes it like really, really fun. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to close my eyes. I'm going to sift through and pick out some pieces. Now, I know you guys can't see me, but I promise, I promise my eyes are closed. I can't see what I'm grabbing here. And so I'm just going to grab something out. Here's a piece. I don't know what it is. It's small, so I'm going to grab another one. See if I can fit a few pieces on there. What have I got? I got full pages in here as well as small ones. Like that one feels too big. I need some small. Oh, here we go. Here's a smallish one. All right, let's grab a few more. What I can get here. My eyes are still closed, guys. I can't see what I'm grabbing here, so I'm just I'm just reaching in and and just grabbing. Oh, oh, here go. There's some small pieces. There's a small piece. There's a fussy cut image. There's another small piece. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna stop there and. Uh, Set that aside and see what I got. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, okay. Got this image. All right, I can use I can use either side too, guys. It's totally up to me. I can use either side. So looks like I've got I kind of like this side. Ooh, she's pretty. Oh, I like that image. All right. Looks like I like this. I might fussy cut that out. And what is this? Oh, a car. Oh, okay. Oh, this is actually looking pretty cool. All right, some good images here. Real good images. All right, I kind of like this, like that. Like so. Hmm, how do I want to do this one? I kind of like how it... I could put it there. No, I don't want to cover this up because this is kind of cool. Actually, what I might do is turn it on its side. Turn it on its side like that. We'll put her like right here. And then I'm going to fussy cut this out and stick it right here. <gasps> Ooh, that'd be cool. That'd be really cool. All right, let's get this like fussy cut out quick a minute here. So how is everybody doing today? It is Wednesday, so we're halfway through the work week. We got a holiday weekend coming up. So do you guys have any plans for the holiday weekend? I got a couple fun plans. Um, I'm going, I, I bought my tent. Uh, I know, I think I mentioned that a while back that I have a tent I'm going to go camping with, but I haven't, you know, like opened it up yet to test it out. So that's what I'm going to do this weekend. I'm going to open it up and test it out. And I'm going to sleep in my parents' uh, backyard. I'm going to sleep in my parents' backyard because they have a bigger yard and uh, it's also a fenced-in yard, so it, I don't know. It just makes me feel more comfortable doing it in, in their yard. Plus, in that way, you know, we can have fun as a family. We can uh, have a nice campfire out in the backyard. It's going to be awesome. I'm really liking how this is looking, right, guys? This looks really cool. Okay, let's start gluing images down. We're going to start with this one here, down in the corner. Let's get going here. i got to move this box out of the way. And we'll start right down here. I love working in my mystery glue book. Because I love, I love the crazy randomness. 
it kind of in a way makes you think you don't have to think like you don't have to look search through images to figure out what's going to go together you're basically just you know throwing stuff and say here you go put it together which I don't mind. I kind of, I just, I love the crazy not knowing kind of thing. I mean, that's okay for some people. I know some people don't like the, uh, the not knowing. They like need like to know what's, what's what. And yep, I totally, I totally get that. I know there's a, there are some things that are you know, okay to be a mystery and some things you'd rather not have be a mystery. But yeah, I really need to, I want to cut some more images. I want to add some more to my uh, box. I know it's, it's quite full already, but my hope is one day that this thing will be filled to the brim. <laughs> that'll make it, that'll make it really, really fun. An entire box full of images. I don't want it sitting this way. I know that might sound like a bit much, but, uh, you know, I'm okay with that. I don't think that'll bother me one bit. And I've got enough magazines to do it, too. <laughs> I should really cut up some uh, Nat Geo magazines and throw them in there as well. You can get a bunch of Nat Geo magazines at thrift shops super cheap. Super cheap. They're just, like, they're everywhere. Nat Geo magazines are, like, in every thrift shop. You can get old ones or the new ones. My grandpa used to be subscribed to the Nat Geo. And he had a ton of them. I mean a ton of Nat Geo magazines. I can remember having like a huge bookshelf at home of Nat Geo magazines that he'd always give us when he was done with them. And now that I'm starting to do this, I'm really beating myself up that I didn't save some of those. I used to go through those all the time. Like, I had some of my favorite ones, and and they just, well, you know, when we grow up and we don't read them or use them no more, you get rid of them. So now I'm like, oh, man, and now I'm doing glue booking that would have come in handy so much. I know. So now I'm going to have to... Uh, Probably buy them at thrift stores, which no, it's okay, it's okay. But I could have had like a massive mountain of Nat Geo magazines to go through. I really want to try and make another uh, like collage image too. <clears throat> I tried my hand at doing an actual like, you know, collage a while back. I know our head sticks off the top a little bit. That's okay. We can we can trim that off. All right. I need to trim this off down here. So one second. Got to trim you up. All right, and I can call this one all set. I could totally add more onto it, and I don't know, maybe maybe in the future I might down the line. We'll add some stickers to it or some other, other cutout images, but I really like how it looks right now, and I don't want to mess with it. So we're going to flip the page, and we're going to start another one. Let us cover our glue stick. And let us grab our box. Oh, yikes, got some hair in there. Where did that come from? All right, here we go. My eyes are closed. My eyes are closed. I always like to dig towards the bottom and then kind of pull the bottom up to the top in a way. Should I go for a full page, you guys? I could totally grab a full page. Like, here's a well, almost full page or something to cut out of it. All right, we'll start with this. I don't know what's on it, but we'll start, we'll start with that. Let's see what have I got here. Okay, here's a smallish image. Um, hold on. Here's, I think this is a fussy cut image. I don't know what this is. I would take that. Okay. Everything is good for now. Don't want to go too crazy. Let's see what we have. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. I think I saved this image because this is really pretty. What have I got here? Oh, that's so cute. 
And I have either this side or this side. And then we have this image or the back is just words. Hmm, let me see, what could we do? You know, I could almost like just like fussy cut out those people, which I think I might. I could. Well, maybe I won't. Maybe I won't trim off this side here so it'll fit. Yep, I think I'm just, what I'm going to do is I really like this map. Maybe I'll put it in the back here. Hmm. Let me sink. Let me sink. All right, we've got a challenging one here today. What do I want to do? I mean, it would be cool to just kind of have them. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yep, I'm going to kind of just roughly fussy cut around these people here. That's actually pretty cool. I kind of like it like that. And then we can stick this image like right here. With these animals right here. Oh, isn't that cute? I almost feel like I need to get something to cover up those. Actually, what I could do is I could just cut out. I could just cut out pieces here to kind of fill in these gaps. It is totally okay. And it actually looks kind of cool. So I might try and get like this tree here to kind of fill in right there. Let's see here. If I can carefully slide it in. Hang on. I gotta even up this edge here. I can slide it down in right there. Okay, there we go. There we go. And if we put this back here, it's like doing one giant puzzle, you guys. Or do I want this behind the map? I think I might want this behind the map. Because I want more of that map showing. And then we put the animals right there. Hey! That actually looks pretty good. That looks really good. Okay. Now i got to figure out which pieces have to be glued down first. I know those ones are secondary. Okay. That piece right there needs to go down first. I'm going to leave that right there because I need that in that exact spot. I think I might change it to be that way. Oops. Let's start with this piece here. Right up in the corner. There we go. All right now, okay, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm just gonna very carefully draw some marks to know where I have to replace it. Because I wanna make sure it's in the right spot so it covers up that little gap. There we go. Right about there. And then this piece has to go here. Have any of you guys started a mystery glue book? Have any of you guys tried something like this where you just have some images that you throw in like a little box or something and just drew randomly? It's a lot of fun, guys. I promise you, it's a lot of fun. You don't have to do something this big or with this many images. I'm just doing it this way because I want to. <laughs> You totally do not have to. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna see how low my map has to go here. Okay, that should be all right. I can raise it up just a bit more. Okay, so 
about there. Okay. Whoop! Oh no! 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 Come back here! What are you doing? Darn little booger! Here we go. All right. I'm gonna glue this cute couple down here. I am ready to just sit on the couch on my butt and not get up until bedtime. I haven't been feeling the greatest today, but I finally know why. And so I'm like, oh, great. Yeah, yep. So if you know, you know. But at least it's not, you know, like I'm actually getting sick. It's just, you know, something that naturally occurs. I just have to have to deal with it. But it's, it's it's draining. I'm I'm exhausted. I just feel like crap. I'd like to eat some ice cream and just sit and watch TV. And that's what I'm gonna do. Ta-da! There we have it. I got two more pages done in my mystery glue book, and I I love these so much. Oops, sorry guys. And yep, I probably will someday come back and maybe add a little more things here and there. But even just a little bit is still, this is still good. You don't need to go all crazy and chaotic. Just even a few, few images is perfect. Like I like this page here. Nice kind of colors and the kitty. Some of these pages actually turned out really, really good. This one was a challenging one. I remember that. It didn't turn out the greatest. So I probably will go back and have to add something. Got to add something to it because it's not, not 100% the best. But most of these turned out really good. Really good. But now I just, oh, I want to add some more images to my box. I love to have that huge variety. I think that's probably why I have so many craft supplies is because I like having a big selection. I like to have a huge variety. It's like I don't want to be, you know, restricted or, or minimal. I, I want to have a lot of options. That's basically it, is the how having a lot of options. So I am okay with totally filling up this box full because then that means I have a bigger bigger chance of getting just totally crazy random stuff and it's just, it's more fun things to play with and just it's fun to dig through when there's a lot more there but yeah I think that's it for this evening guys I am pooped <laughs> I am pooped it's time to go and uh, chill for the evening but um thank you so much for joining me I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did I love working in my mystery glue book it's so much fun but yeah, I hope this inspired you to try something a little different yourself, something new if you want. You don't have to make it as crazy and as big as mine is, but it's still a lot of fun. So until tomorrow's video, keep on gluing, everybody.